Question 17. Louis and Robert are investigating the growth in the population of a type of bacteria. They have two flasks A and B. At the start of day one, there are a thousand bacteria in flask A. The population of bacteria grows exponentially at the rate of 50% per day. Show that the population of bacteria in flask A at the start of each day forms a geometric progression. So at the start of day one, we have a thousand. And then the next day, it's going to increase by 50%, which is a multiplier of 1.5. 1 1.5 times 1,000 is 1,500. So the next day, we're multiplying by 1.5 again. And 1,500 multiplied by 1 1.5 is 2,250. So this forms a geometric progression. The population of bacteria in flask A at the start of the 10th day is 10 times the population of bacteria in flask A at the start of the 6th day. Find the value of K. So we can form an equation here. At the start of the 6th day, we have 1,000 multiplied by 1 1.5 to the power of 6 for 6 days. We're given that this one is k times the amount on day 6. So we're going to multiply that by k and set that equal to the amount on day 10. 1000 times 1 1.5 to the power 10. Now let's do some rearrangement. We have 1000 on both sides, which we can cancel out, giving us 1.56 times k equals 1 1.5 to the power 10. If you want k, we can divide by 1.56, which is 1 1.5 to the power 10, or 1 1.5 to the power 6, which is 1 1.5 to the power 4. We can calculate this value, which gives us 81 over 16. At the start of day 1, there are 1,000 bacteria in flask B. The population of bacteria in flask B grows exponentially at the rate of 30% per day. Sketch a graph to compare the size of population of bacteria in flask A and in B. So I've now set up some axes with time on the x-axis and population on the y-axis. For flask A, we know we're going to have to start at 1,000 because that's the initial amount. And it's going to increase exponentially. So something like that. We know that flask B increases at a lower rate. It's only a multiplier of 1.3. So it's going to be a shallower curve. However, it still starts at 1,000. So something like that. Last thing we need to do is just label those two. So that's flask A, and that's flask B.